Hello, fellow old souls, empath seekers, and psychonauts alike. If you'd like to come on and have a seat for some symbolic support, I've made an ink blot made in your name and essence that we are going to scry for shapes and symbols that may speak to our psyche and psychic senses. As well, we'll add on Tarot and Oracle, and where Mr. Ghost Gif is here kicking, uh, we have Ghost Don't Tube leave. for any audio additions, as you've just heard, that may further inspire or irritate. Overall, please do receive a release freely. I am going to take a moment to open up. You are welcome to start scrying for yourself, commenting below what you see, sense, or feel, deepening the reading. Timestamps are also below if you just want to pitter patter, get at her. Closing the eyes, cleansing the palette of perception. Yellow. Releasing the race and the rush. Activating the abstract mind and ancient awareness to perceive and receive symbolic support in the name and honor of old souls. Thank you for being my muse, and may you meet a message with meaning. All right. Hmm. Okay, so right in about here, I'm being drawn. I feel like I am on a swivel. And there is a scope. But this scope is, Frustrated. Actu is actually like another person. Idea? Person. It's a scope. I'm on a swivel. I'm scoping. It's like I'm trying to hone in on something, like a sharpshooter, whatever that may be for you, whatever skill set, channel, resonance, relationship, whatever it is that you want and desire. I feel like you're working on this swivel. Okay, but at the at where this other little energy is, Neil. it brings me into like just my personal concept of space, like outer space or the space of all that is the space of creation, manifestation, cleansing, letting in, letting go. It starts at the tip of my nose. It's not something far out there. Even if it's at a different planet or galaxy, it all starts at the tip of my nose. It's looking back at me, the, at, like at the end of my nose of the scope. I think it's called a scope. Whatever this energy is, it's. I feel like it's asking me a question to clarify something. I want to clear. It's asking me to clarify. Not likely. And it's also looking behind me. Hmm. Okay, so here's an inspiration that's coming through that maybe you can resonate with. I feel like there's a chance I could be repeating something and I need to decide if repeating it is worth repeating. It's like playing a video game again and again to get faster and faster at it, to find extra nuggets that might be in there, something about proficiency. This doesn't feel repetitive in a, the space of how one might think of something like a cycle. Maybe it is for you, but the the way I'm feeling it is, it's like, it's almost like you could run through the course of it because it's on this swivel, like really fast. Because, yeah, it that's what I'm saying. Do you understand? <laughs> I apologize. It's like playing a video game one time or reading a book one time. And then you go back to this book, maybe to highlight certain things. You're skimming through it a little bit more efficiently, or you're slowing down to find those nuggets, those things worth highlighting. And because you've already read the book once, because you've already watched the show once or the movie once, it allows, you know how it ends, or you know the, the typical storyline. This feels personal though. And because you already know that information, it releases certain focuses so that you can enjoy the subtleties, find subtleties, skills. Does that make sense? That's what it makes me feel like. There is Mickey Mouse movie 
And that's, that's where I was seeing like going things back in, like watching a movie and being inspired when? differently, watching a movie from back in the day or something you really liked as a child, or maybe it was last week. And then you find these other subtleties in there. It does feel like inspiration. I'm also seeing the chairs that's turning on me. Professor X from X-Men. And he is connected into the brain, the mind of this being. And then that also brings me into the show Solar Opposites. Well, it's, it's a cartoon show, but an adult cartoon show. And the pupa, I think it's called the pupa. He, he wants... I don't know, like these candies or something or these puffs. So he has this machine human that he plops into the brain of and he has this whole Son. adventure as a human to get these things, to get these, like these puffs for happiness and they make him happy. Okay. I'm also seeing a St. Bernard, possibly a bull mastiff. But I'm seeing it as, I don't think it's the point of what kind of dog it is, at least not for me, but maybe it means something to you. It's a big dog. And it's come up before the symbol where they have the barrel where I, maybe back in the day, I can't recall. I'm horrible at retaining some information. If it was like moonshine or liquor, but inevitably it's medicine. <clears throat> yeah, they're coming towards you. Uh, they're taking some sort of venom by them approaching goodbye. you goodbye goodbye thank you so much for being here the medicine there's a, a little container here because i'm seeing it like ghostbusters in that i don't know that pedaly thing that they i guess capture the ghost in and but it looks like a snake and not the good serpent knowledge snake this feels like somebody else's snake that they put in your garden almost to feed off your knowledge your information and it's captured them in like this little capsule, like this vial. Thank you. Another way of seeing it is, I don't know why this has been coming up so much. Maybe I just need to watch the movie again because it's not typical for me. So you know how in the movie, The Matrix, I feel like we come here a lot. And I really, I swear to God, it's it's fine. And when they they take him into the car and she puts that thing in his belly to suck out the thing the tracking device or something that's what it's like there's a handshake happening here interestingly enough it's kind of like a parasite because this saint bernard is shaking hands with this oh oh um i'm scared don't be scared don't be scared we're here together. We're here together. Male or female. The point is, is like something about a belly. Birthing belly. Something in the earthly creation. The earthly chakras. The root sacral solar plexus. Somewhere in there. Because it's the heart that is making this medicinal connection. Medicinal connection. While I have Professor X in my mind. And I feel like for some, you know that space. You know what I'm saying? And being able to tap in maybe to the medicine of the collective, empathically, psychonaut style, uh, whatever the case may be. This isn't invasive. This is not the parasitic place or it's not like a parasitic professor. This feels like I am trying to, not trying to do anything, but it's like magnetizing medicines that work through handshakes. There's permissions. Please. There's, there's, um agreeance and understanding somebody also like you might just be pregnant and it's um there's something this came up in the other reading but it's stepping forward again so i'm going to say it before we start adding on tarot and oracle there's something that's not being handed down in your family line greetings. because of the work you've done greetings hello because of the work that you've done by being you, by breathing. Now, for some reason, I'm hearing quite specifically, feels like, well, I haven't done enough. I haven't uh, accomplished or what healed may look like. And I feel like that's like the whole space thing. It's right there. You're, you've already done it. 
what it looks like and what it feels like might be something that we have been taught it might look like or might feel like. So it's by that conditioning. We might feel like it's not done, but it, it is actually done. All right. Oh, sorry if that was choppy. <laughs> so sorry. All right. We'll add on Please a, listen. We'll add on a talisman. Yeah, as I'm listening, that just it, it popped up over here. I followed the spiral and then in this ear. What is that creature? I'm seeing a very fancy zero. Yeah, it's a very fancy zero. Uh, there's something about... Okay, give me a moment. There's a seed or source up here, something. It feels like an orb. Doesn't have to be ghostly in nature, excuse me. Nobody it, understands. It feels like a nucleus. A nucleus. Resilience and confidence has come through. Um, are some of you, or at least the sensation I'm getting is, oh, okay, it kind of goes back to that line, like I, maybe I haven't done enough, I'm not doing enough. I feel like I'm like quietly berating or being berated and something's coming in to help assist with this. Apologize. Maybe it is an apology from someone or something. If there's something been sticking in your craw, we have here resilience and confidence. I have confidence and confidence alone. I'm seeing in this card, like one of those close shaves that people would get with their razor blade. It's like getting to the surface. This is something about like breaking news and it's breaking. Somebody feels like they, maybe it's yourself, but I feel like it feels berated. And I don't really even, anyway. And, but it's like spirit of someone, something, your guides align with whatever feels well. It's like breaking news. This isn't happening anymore. Excuse me, there's a stormtrooper mask in here. Uh, I just heard see no evil, hear no evil, say no evil. Is that, I can't remember what that's from. But it, anyways, an emoji lands, I'm seeing those three monkeys with like their clothes Stupid. like that. <laughs> yeah because there might be something that's tr again it's this like snake charmer almost yeah but the irony is is that if you accept I this, can't this talk. medicine uh this saint bernard takes it Seven, seven. It's time to move on from the old patterns, habits, and fears. Now is the time to walk in the direction of your biggest desires and ambitions. Now is the time to be bold and brave. And I am brave. I am resilient in... Do you know what it makes me feel like, old souls? Is that there, your confidence is almost so resilient that others can't seem to figure it out. Help. And maybe they do want you to help them, but the way they're approaching you is very snake charmery. 
the way it's coming in, it's like, mm, it's like they don't want to admit this external energy, person, place, or thing. I'm not looking to blame. I feel as though I am being very aware. That's, I'm just being aware. I'm not applying a judgment. It's an awareness. And that's my responsibility. But it's almost as if there is a hesitancy for this external energy to step forward and say, okay, this is like the berating thing. I, I'm not saying this is in any way a truth, personal or external. I am less than. I, uh, it, it's almost like the, in the, maybe they're, they are feeling small or you are feeling small. So in order to like get the knowledge that maybe somebody wants or whatever, they don't want to admit it's to fill a smallness to make them bigger. But there's something about like the effort, the exploration and the effort to, to get there feels like the outer space thing so far out of reach. That they want to just add something to other people, Abigail. places, or things that it's like the data will, or the information will, like a parasite, like feed it without it needing to really do anything, any of the research or legwork. And I'm not trying to make it bigger than it is, but I feel like it's life experience to some degree or another. So maybe there's an air of envy. I don't want to, yeah, I don't want to focus on that. Okay. There might be an air of envy because of your bravery, your resilience, and your confidence to continue pursuing you while maintaining, exploring, or alchemizing a balance between the different roles and reality that we all play. You know what I'm saying? And somebody's like trying to figure out how you do it. Because they think there's no no suffering or it comes easy to you, but it doesn't. It's not any easier. But you're just like following your your interests. Because you in some way, shape, or form, in whatever context or resonance channel, you are the visionary. Creativity is driving force in your life and your imagination is rich and you are able to express your feelings and insights in a unique way that others can benefit from. I am a visionary because this is what you're doing. This is who you are. But I feel like it's like natural for you. Like you might not even think of it as like a special skill or anything to be envious of or anything that would stand out because that's not the point for you the point is simply for you to be you and have fun doing that because there's other things in life that are very dry and they're very mundane and they're you know just blah and that's cool but it's kind of like you brighten the blah be quiet what is this right here i see you i see you give me a moment they try to peek in. Some of you, okay, so there's also, uh, hmm, I don't know what it Come is. Come closer. Okay, give me a moment. They try to peek in. Why is this so externalized? Because also with this visionary, I want to know, it's because you have vision, but you're also, that vision is also taking in your environment, your atmospheres. And so that brings in a particular, yeah, see, exploring a uh, werewolf, exploring wildness. I lost my train of thought. That's fine. I just saw something else. They're trying to peek in anyway. But as they peek in, maybe horizontally, you're already going vertical. So then they see like a brick wall. What should I do? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if you need to do anything. This is personal. You're going to do what you're going to do. 
because as you have the vision, you also have the vision of awareness of the audience, whether it's online, your family, your boss, yada, 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 yada. This. There is two beings here in the negative space. They have a familiar with them. There's somebody specifically you seem to be connecting to amidst sleep, the void, whatever the case may be is. You might even, I, I don't say it a whole lot, but it could be like somebody who is your twin. Something that you could uh, as a claim in a recognizing soul space in a mirror. Because it's like you're double timing something. The way you guys work together helps you see each other's blind spots because it's like that scope thing like right from the beginning again that thing that degree scope the person at the end of the nose but they're looking back there's a connection anyway i don't need to to worry about what kind of connection it is it could be romantic platonic you might even not physically know this person but in a soul residence in your sleep state you do or you do know this person but there's a distance so there's no physical interaction <coughs> excuse me or maybe it's online nonetheless because they're looking back like they have your six they can they can see your blind spots and you can see their blind spots and it's helpful it brings me back to the professor eat. x thing yeah i do need to eat <laughs> i do need to eat i'm a hungry hungry do you have anything else for old souls here i'm seeing a tap like a tappy tap I have here eternal love. Love is love is love and transcends physical death. See, there's somebody, somebody that you're really, really close with. I feel like it's lifetimes. So I could say twins. Did I say that? Or is that just in my imagination? It's not the point. Above. This is that connection. It's really quite beautiful. Like it's rooted. It might even be family for some. You might have a sibling. Or a parent that was like more of a sibling to you. There's some sort of transformation that you guys are going through. Sorry, this werewolf just came in again. Oh, do you want, okay. So here's this little side story. Oh my goodness. Okay, thank you. Do you remember when I was talking about this dog, the St. Bernard or Bull Mastiff? I don't really know. It's this medicine. And I don't want to say medicine in the traditional way, but it kind of feels it's some sort of alchemizing energies. And nonetheless, handshake agreed upon. We're doing this. It's not we're doing this, but thank you because you've really called them in or vice versa. You've made the journey, the truck the you've read the, the books, the words you've highlighted, you've gone back. What should I do? And I'm not saying that those are the actual tasks. Those are just symbols of... Things that maybe you might not even think mattered, but they did. They did. They were acknowledged. They were part of the steps. Building the path road pebble by pebble. That's not to make it seem long and ter tertious. Tertious. Tedious. Tertious. Like poop. <laughs> tertious. Tedious. Okay. So this... Okay, so remember how I was talking like the matrixy when he gets like the thing sucked out of his belly or was that just in my imagination? I'm going to go with it. So Neo gets the thing sucked out of his belly because he's being tracked or something along that line, that parasite. It's like a parasite thing in here. And by doing so, that starts his journey to transforming. So here's the thing. It's like the werewolf. I think this St. Bernard slash werewolf is this somebody else. This soulmate, twin soul, sibling. It's somebody in the spirit realm. The spirit realm. Fascinating. What else do we have here? I feel like I'm having like weird memory lapses. Like I can't remember it. Well, it happens a lot anyway, but it's like, I can't quite remember if I said that. Was it in my mind? It was in my head. It was invisible. I'm not sure. I'm seeing that zero again. Did 
There's another kind of handle. I'm trying to decide what kind of handle this is. Something about mining. So I don't know much about mining, but it kind of brings me into the video game thing of like Minecraft. Is that even a thing? I don't, I know it's a thing, but I don't know anything about it. Ghost, commune with your guides. Somebody has like inside information, but I heard like inside trading. And this might be in relation to somebody like trading your wisdoms or your work as their own. Now I know there's a big difference between being inspired and carrying on okay. a message. This more so feels like somebody, or maybe you just notice it. It's like following other information that steps forward, but you can wander old souls, psychonauts, and pass in some regard back to its source. Commune with your guides. Oddly enough, I'm seeing that like a hitchhiker, but they're like seated. Let's see if I could do it like this. It reminds me of when we were kids and you would make tent forts. You're welcome. Thank you. I see a baby in there. Umbilical cord. There's a very large guide here that you are connected to. For some reason specifically, I'm hearing either, I'm gonna try and say this sensitively, but I apologize if I don't say it well. Somebody might feel like an orphan. You're welcome. Like there's a handshake to say we take care of this baby. It's like adoption or orphan. It's like looking for your source of your parents. But I'm hearing the spirit. It, the spirit guides are really the parent that you're looking for. Some of you are covering up. <laughs> Some of you are covering up right now. In this unseen, trust your growing potential. What's on the bottom step? Don't be afraid to move and change. Somebody's mirroring you. Someone, somewhere, I don't know what form or context it is. Unfortunately for them, it's they're gonna they're gonna get themselves caught, not maybe in the in the way one might think. They're gonna get it's almost like they're gonna get themselves caught because it's not theirs or they're trying to mimic or um, you know what it's like it's like being okay what 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 it's like being a young child and you want to grow up right and we all do those things put on your mom's shoes or whatever to grow up really fast the parent the guardian insert any layer of that knows that there's a gradual growth and the kids are always in a rush to grow up but the the guide the guardian knows the value of those moments and say i know i know you i know you want to be old enough to stay up later or you know drive play with your big sister big brother do you know what i'm saying so you in some ways you are that guide for somebody else because they're seeing something that you're doing 
and they want to rush into it without the growth, the, the natural progression. And that's when help turns to hinder because it gets them caught and confused. And then they look for rescuing. And it's almost like sometimes they might look to you. Sandra. I don't know if that made sense. Okay, I've been yammering on for 30 minutes, old souls. But you know what? I myself need to free myself from the confines of time sometimes in the clock. So if you've made it this far, thank you so, so much for being you. And for like, sharing, and subscribing. I'm so, so grateful. Uh, truly, you were my haunted heart. I'm going to start to close out here. We'll add on uh, some magic oracle cards. I didn't even add tarot, but that's okay. That's okay. We don't need to. It's okay. I want to return for one moment. Sevens might be important to you. Twelves might be important to you. Calendar year, of course, in the 12, noon and midnight, noon and midnight. You're getting a close shave. Like it's getting closer and closer and closer. You don't panic over stubble. If I kind of go into that beer thing, why would you panic over stubble? It's a different look. And for, you know, whether it's a few weeks or a few days, you're like, yeah, I'm going with the stubble look. And then you decide from that point, am I going to close shave or am I going to continue growing the beard? Achievement. Oh, I can't read that. Sorry. Win the award accolator contract. There it is there. Handshake. Congratulations love charm attract a lover soulmate or life partner and we've been talking about this soulmatey stuff whether they have already passed or they're coming towards you personal or professional something about instagram too specifically i don't know if that's like the online conversations or whatnot can i get one more for the old souls thank you Philosopher's Stone, powerful manifestations of witches, wishes and goals. <laughs> witches. <sighs> I want to come back to this change, but it's not even, it, there's change, but it's. Smile. Do you know what it's like? I'm seeing the point in Dirty Dancing. And they're in the car and it's raining out. Anyway, I can't really remember past that for one reason or another or the context of it. But the point is, is she's like, you're wild. You're wild. That's what it feels like. And like the dirty dancing thing, it's like you find an unlikely lover or life mate or partner companion it doesn't have to be romantic so many times love is associated with romance and it is an expression of love but it's not the only one other souls that get it but they don't it's not combatual they help it maybe this is the exchanging it's like seeing a bunch of apothecary doctors but they're not doctors in the traditional way different awarenesses at a network or I don't know whatever it is I don't need and you guys exchange I say you guys and hopefully I wander around there and visit anyway or at least pop in <laughs> and there's like this it's like the comic-con of old souls everyone's Russell. doing things a little differently everyone has their own take on things Everyone has their own achievements of things that they've experienced and awarenesses. Everyone has their own charm of what it is that they have leaned into and loved and allowing that love to also grow and not be like a Lenny and suppress it until it's, you know, choked out. Some of you also might be speakers about something. 
And you're going to win somebody over with your charm for what it is that you wish to achieve because for you it's just another pebble in the stone. And you will be, symbolically speaking, that CEO, if that's a title that means something to you, or COO, or make something up. It's, it's all well. I'm not trying to be nonchalant about it, but I don't, I don't know where it ends, right? So, or even starts. But let's say you become the CEO of something, but you've had the experience of being the janitor, the manager, the field op, the mechanic, to some degree. You know what I mean? You've had interactions with enough of the process and the people and the people, the humanness so that when you raise yourself up or receive, Hammer. receive this manifestation of your goal, wish or desire, skill set, whatever, knowledge, awareness, awakening, call it what you will. There's always another level and it goes up or down or sideways. There's always crossroads. I'm coming back to that oscillating, swiveling, scopey thing. But you have, or do you know what I'm saying? Appreciation, appreci appreciation. And you see you value along the way. You know the value of the janitor, you understand the value of the person in the background that's never seen typing away. You understand the value of the part of your own aspects and energy that will never receive a high five. Because it's not what it's about. It's about efficiency. And earnesty and excitement in the exploring am i a ghost you are but you are alive i'm gonna leave this here before i butcher it anymore and i feel like i've yammered on quite quite some time old souls but i do hope that uh this did serve inspire educate or entertain i'm gonna leave it here this was fantastic this was powerful <laughs> this was wild <laughs> And eternally loved. It's like love charms. Remember how like we were even talking about the snake charmer? And then the love, the love charm came through. I see it's a wonderful polarity. Okay, I'm going to let it go. Until next time, old souls. Thank you so much for being you. You are my haunted heart. I will see you again soon. Bye. Love potion number nine. Love potion number nine.